Well, really, as a kid, you know, I grew up playing a lot of sports. So I always, you know, I always wanted to be, you know, to be in sports, play in a team, you know what I mean, and, and be, just compete. Um, that was, you know, what I always, you know, dreamt when I was really young. Um, I think when you go to college and you start to realize, you know, you have limitations from a physical standpoint, you, you know, you start looking at opportunities and business, right? And I lived um, in Berkeley, so it was kind of fairly retail. And I would always think about what are things I can basically bring from Thailand to come and sell in California or in Berkeley, right? Because you went to Charuchak and et cetera. So I was always kind of, you know, wanted to set up a store, a shop, right? But it wasn't until I worked in my first um, job, official, I mean the first real job, um, was for Ask Jeeves or Ask.com. And that's when I really experienced the power of the internet. That you know, it wasn't just about setting up a store, but rather you could actually set it one up online. Right? And so you know, from the very beginning, I realized that if I didn't know how to actually build my own website and, you know, and design and uh, come up with my own branding, you know, like how could I build a company? And so I really taught myself, you know, how to do web design, Flash, um, you know, uh, Photoshop, and etc. So I would say, you know, from the early days, I, I've always wanted to build like websites because that was the future. Yeah, um, I mean, my first, you know, really kind of experience as an entrepreneur. Actually, it was a failure, but it was fun. Um, what we did was, you know, mistletoes in, in the U.S. And it's, it's basically like, you know, a plant that you pull off trees and, you know, you put it on a door and people kiss each other underneath, right? It's called a mistletoe. And, you know, we realized that, you know, um, Christmas was coming. And so, you know, my brothers and I, you know, we actually knew a mistletoe farm. And so we realized that we could, if we climbed up and you know, got mistletoes, wrapped them all up, put a bell and et cetera on them, we could go down to the supermarket and actually sell it to people, right, for, you know, for Christmas. How old were you? Um, probably we were eight or nine, right? So very young. And you know, obviously we went to the supermarket. We, we, you know, we had about 150 plus you know, different you know, mistletoes. And then when we got to the supermarket, the guy said, you need a license to sell. You know, you can't just sell openly. And so we spent a lot of time actually building these things, you know what I mean? But we, you know, we obviously couldn't sell them. So I was one of the first experiences, I think, that we had as, um, you know, very young entrepreneurs with my brothers and I. For me, it would be to definitely do something on the internet. I mean, the internet is like, you know, like Thomas Edison invented electricity, right? Or the steam engine, right? It's something that is so new and revolutionary. I think every business is gonna be on the internet. So for me, my, word, my advice would be, you know, and this is actually something I wanna do with my kids, right? Which is when they get old enough, which is to go and source a product, right? Find a product, wherever it's in China, anywhere, or Charuchak, get that product and figure out how to sell it to a customer online. Create an e-commerce store, you know what I mean, do the marketing, because that is what the business, that's what business is all about, right? It's actually buying, sourcing a product, selling, curating, creating marketing, right? So, but if it's something that you're passionate about, you know, right, it could be a shirt, it could be shoes, it could be electronics, it can be anything. And that's what I highly recommend, which is to really go through that experience yourself. And today, it's not gonna cost more than a couple hundred dollars. In fact, people are selling on Facebook and et cetera already. And I think that's the very beginning of really learning, you know, to find a product that consumers want or to find a service that consumers want. I think when you do that from beginning, you'll learn everything from day one, right, about business. Um, and, and, you know, if you can find a partner, you know, I think that's also part of the process, which is finding partners, then eventually find employees. So for me, it would be, you know, an e-commerce venture and just selling one little thing I think that, you know, I think it's a bit of both, actually. Um, you know, I, some people say you can be born with it. Um, you have to be born as an entrepreneur, right? But, you know, it's actually your, also your upbringing. It's your surroundings, it's your environment. If you go to school and all the other kids are creating, you know, internet websites, um, doing startups, 
you're going to want to go in also. And this is, you know, what I feel is this is then now the whole new generation, right? Where, you know, you're looking at 16 year old kids being able to create a website now and making money, even more money than their parents. And that is just the nature of this game, right? And so when a 16 year old kid can do that, you know, every, anyone should be able to do that, right? And so I think that, um, you know, that, that for, from, my, from my perspective, you know, is that you have all the tools, you have all the learnings, right, to actually be an entrepreneur. Um, but some people, you know, actually need to take more time. And it's really kind of a risk versus reward. When you're young, you don't have that many, you know, responsibilities. So you can take those risks, right? But when you're old and you have children already, right, and, and you know, you weren't around for the early internet boom, um, and you have, a, you, know, you have a job and et cetera, you know, you can't take that risk. But I'm noticing now a lot of people that work for big companies, they actually, you know, spend their weekends working on projects. You know, they, they spend time at work with other coworkers to come up with ideas, right? So I think that, you know, even entrepreneurs, you know, people start actually at a much later age than, than what a lot of people think. It's actually in the late 30s, sometimes even early 40s, right, where the majority of entrepreneurs, and that's because people build years and years of experience. And after they build years of experience, they say, hey, you know, I think now I'm ready to become an entrepreneur. So I think you have that path, but I think that the internet has accelerated that opportunity, you know, basically threefold. Um, my advice for, I would say, probably 20-year-old Paul would be to surround myself, right, with people that were not similar to me, right, and to actually find partners that knew things that I didn't know then. I went and learned the hard way. I think that I could have learned much faster, you know what I mean? And, you know, you didn't have that many internet blogs and websites and et cetera. So for me, I would probably would wanted to you know, find business partners that would have allowed me to accelerate much faster, right? And finding more bus uh, business partners I have today, but found them early on. Um, yeah, I mean, that for me would be one. And the other one um, I would probably say um, is, you know, I should have probably spent one more time, you know, more, a little bit more time working with another startup, right? Because I only worked at one startup, but you know, and it wasn't that long. But I think that if I worked a little in another startup, I would have also learned a lot. I think a lot of people think that they can just jump into a startup, but you actually, you know, spend a lot of time, you know, cut through trial and error, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, if people have a chance to work in a very new, young, dynamic startup, I highly recommend. You don't have to be there for a year, but even the first six months would be, you know, just tons of information and, and, and learnings. So that I would advise you know, my young, young Paul to you know, jump into another startup before going out on his own to really learn the ropes in the very early days.